There are two major views of evolution. Lamarck believed that what you learn can be passed on to your offspring. For Lamarck, if you practice running, your kids will be faster runners. Darwin believed that genetic diversity will produce both fast and slow runners. The environment will determine which survives. If fast runners outdistance the lions, their offspring will survive. If slower runners are ignored by the lions, their offspring will survive. Darwin appears to be right. There's no evidence that your practice in the piano will make your kids better pianists. Everyone knows talented people with untalented children, and untalented people with talented children. For Darwin, the ability to survive and reproduce, what he called fitness, is a species characteristic, not an individual one. Individuals will die or survive, but the species will go on because the diversity of our genetic pool compensates for many circumstances. When Johann Mendel became an Augustinian monk, he changed his name to Friar Gregor and entered St. Thomas Abbey in what is now the Czech Republic. Mendel was interested in science. He studied physics in college at the University of Vienna under Christian Doppler of the Doppler effect fame, but is best known for his work in genetics. He is the first person to experimentally study genetics. Offspring receive two genes, one from each parent. If the genes are coded the same, the gene will express that trait. Two dominants will show the dominant trait. Two recesses will show the recessive trait. If the genes don't match, the dominant trait will show, but the person will be a carrier of the recessive trait. Consequently, single gene recessive traits can go undetected for generations. They are carried along by people who look dominant, but are genetically both dominant and recessive. Huntington's disease is a single gene dominant trait, but most conditions that are single gene traits are recessive. To observe the effects of genes, researchers use twins, siblings, and strangers. Twins have the same prenatal environment, but their genetics are either the same, identical twins, or different, in fraternal twins. Siblings have different prenatal environments, but the same childhood environment. Strangers have different genes and different environments. In order to fit into a cell, DNA is twisted tightly, compressed and encapsulated into packages called chromosomes. Chromosomes come in pairs. In humans, there are 23 pairs of chromosomes. One pair, composed of X and Y, determines the sex of the offspring. The other 22 are called autosomal chromosomes. They don't determine sex and are numbered from 1 to 22. Each chromosome carries a segment of DNA. The length of the segment varies from carrying lots of genes, 4,000 plus on chromosome 1, to only a few, 30 or 40 on chromosome 22. In the 23rd pair, X has about 2,000 genes, but the Y chromosome has about 200 genes. Sex link traits are coded on either the X or Y chromosome. Females get two X chromosomes, which gives them a genetic advantage. For example, red-green colorblindness is on the X chromosome, but it shows up most often in males. The reason is that females have two Xs to mix and match genes. Males have only one copy of X, so the odds of a damaged copy showing up are higher. Besides, the Y chromosome is so small that it doesn't code many traits. Genes on all other chromosomes other than X and Y are autosomal genes. They encode how our bodies grow and function. Sex-limited traits are caused by autosomal genes. A sex-limited gene is present in both men and women, but shows itself differently. Elephant seals, for example, have the same gene, which results in large fighting males and is turned off in females, making them small and timid. Single gene traits are relatively uncommon because of the diversity of the gene pool. Most traits are polygenic, caused by the combination of lots of genes. Eye color, for example, seems simple, but it's actually a combination of 10 genes. Genes impact behavior indirectly. They impact structures. Genes build your blood-brain barrier, determining how well it keeps diseases out of your brain. Genes also impact processes, such as hormone delivery and drug metabolism.